Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble up, kids! Word alive! Hi, friends! How are you all doing today? Hello. Oh, hi, friends, Kaluza and friends, and friends at home. I hope you're all doing really wonderful today. Today is such an exciting show. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Because today we are going to talk about all the fruits of the Spirit and we have some of our friends all over the world all tell us about the fruits of the Spirit and what it means to them. So I really want you to stay alert to today's show because it's going to be so wonderful. Bubble Up Kids Word Alive! The very first fruit of the Spirit is love. And we already spoke about love with Josh, our friend. Remember? If you haven't watched it, you have to go back and watch it. It was really awesome. So today, we're going to talk about joy and all the other fruits of the Spirit. And then we're going to listen to some of our friends all over the world tell us what the fruit of the Spirit means to them. Love means that you're not bragging about yourself. Love means that you're showing respect to one another. Love means you're caring for them. You're sharing. You love them. Love means that you're not being mean to them. And love lasts forever. After love, what's the next fruit of the Spirit? Joy. Joy, Joy is the next fruit of the Spirit. What does it mean to have joy? Joy means to me that someone is not a feeling you get, it's a feeling you feel like. When joy is, I'm just happy. I'm, I feel so much joy that my family is with me. And joy is like, well, like joy, you feel so much happier with joy. Hello friends all over the world, I'm going to talk about joy. Do you know that joy is an example of the fruit of the Spirit? And as Christians, if we have joy, we have strength and we are able to rebuke Satan. Thank you. Joy means that we have a deep, deep happiness deep down in your heart that even when sometimes you don't get the things you want, like when mommy or daddy doesn't give you the things you want, you're still very happy from the inside because your happiness or your joy is not controlled by all the things that you have or don't have. It's deep down inside your heart where Jesus Christ is. Right, friends? Yeah! Terrific. After joy, what's the next fruit of the Spirit? Peace! Peace! Peace. peace. Good job! What does peace mean, friends? The peace of God. Having the peace of God is when, whenever you're in a bad situation or a panic situation, just always remember that God is with you and God is by your side. So just never be in panic mode in your head. Just always remember that God is with you. Peace. Peace to me means to have love, joy, kindness, gentleness, patience, and self-control. Without peace, you can't really have those things. It also means to me not to worry about anything because God is in control of everything. That all gives me peace. Peace means having a calm countenance, right? That means when you're in a place that there's so much chaos and everybody seems to be going crazy, you have the peace of God in your heart and that keeps you calm yet confident because we are going to learn that the righteous are as bold as a lion. So peace, even though peace is very calm and very quiet, Peace is also very confident because it comes from deep down in your heart. Right, friends? Yeah! Okay, after peace, what's the next fruit of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace. Good job. Good job, friends at home. I hope you got that. Forbearance means to me to have patience and self-control. For example, if my sister would have taken my iPad without asking, instead of yelling and screaming at her, I'd go over to her politely and ask for it back. Forbearance? Is that a big word? Yes! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a big word, but it's really, it has a really easy meaning. For example, 
and my brother takes my toy from me without asking and I'm really angry and I really want to take it back I have the spirit of forbearance that stops me from doing what I want to do so forbearance is basically saying stop doing what you really want to do what you have the right to do because you're angry or whatever the circumstances so forbearance is more like self-control it's not doing the thing that you actually have the right to do like when you do something that mommy and daddy told you not to do and mommy and daddy really want to punish you because you did it sometimes mommy and daddy just have forbearance and they're like you know what we forgive you because we are forbearing and so we're not gonna punish you for what you deserve to be punished for after forbearance what is the next fruit of the spirit okay let's start singing again Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness. I think we all understand kindness, don't we? One of our friends wants to tell us what kindness means. What does kindness mean? Kindness means knowing kindness is the best Friends at home, I'm sure you all understand what it means to be kind. When we are kind, we are sharing. We are kind with our brothers. We are kind with our friends. We are kind in school. We are kind when we go to places where we don't even know people. Kindness is just being so willing to share, so willing to love, so willing to forgive. Yeah. Kindness is such a beautiful fruit of the spirit. And friends, I really hope that you're all very kind wherever you go because you have that fruit of the spirit in your heart. Down, down in your heart. Okay, friends. After kindness, what is the next fruit of the spread? Let's start singing. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness. goodness. <laughs> what does goodness mean? Goodness means you be good. Goodness means doing a lot of good things. Because you know, we're going to learn a memory verse in the future. Again, like I said, we have so many memory verses to learn. But it tells us that goodness is something we have to fight for. It's really, sometimes it's really hard to be a good person. But it's really easy to do bad stuff. Stuff that we're not supposed to do. It's really easy. It's easy peasy to not want to share. It's easy peasy to not want to listen to our parents, right? It's easy peasy to do things that we're not supposed to do. Yeah. But being good takes extra work. And that's what having the fruit of the Spirit inside of us enables us to be good. To always choose to be good. To fight to be good and not to be bad or evil. Because we are children of God. Therefore, we have goodness bubbling up all of our hearts inside, right? And even when people laugh at us for being good, guess what? We still continue to be good, right? Because we are not trying to please anybody. We are only pleasing God who we love with all our hearts. Do you all love God with all your hearts? Yes! Yeah! Okay. Good job. I heard that loud and clear. That means I will always choose to be good and not be bad or not listen or not be evil. Terrific. After goodness, what is that? Next fruit of the spread. Let's start. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, faithfulness. The next fruit of the spirit is faithfulness. What does it mean to be someone who is faithful? Faithfulness is believing in something you cannot see. Like when I was doing track for long jump and I was believing in myself, I was praying and I was working hard, and then I made it to nationals for long jump. To me, faithfulness is being loyal and committed to God and others. We have to keep our promises always. This makes this makes God and our friends happy. Faithfulness, not only to people, but faithfulness, first of all, to God. When you're faithful to God, it means that no matter what happens, you will choose to always love God, to always believe in Jesus Christ, and to always say, God, I love you. You always choose to pray to God. Even when other people are laughing at you, you always choose to love God and show everyone that you love God. 
that is being faithful to God. And faithful to people means that when you say you will do something, you better do it. Yay! <laughs> For example, when you tell mommy and daddy, I'm going to clean my room, you have to be faithful to your word. You do have to clean your room. When you go to school and you're supposed to learn and you tell mommy and daddy, I'm going to study really hard, mommy and daddy. Yes, yes, you have yes, to be yes, faithful yes. to that word. You have to be someone who keeps your word no matter what happens. I hope you all understand that. Yes, I do. Terrific, friends. Okay, after faithfulness, what is the next fruit of the spring? <laughs> Are we sure? Is it gentleness? Let's start counting. Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. Terrific. <laughs> gentleness. What does gentleness mean? Uh huh. One of our friends wants to tell us what gentleness means. Gentleness means that you're being gentleness, gentleness to your brothers and sisters. You're not being so good to them and being so crazy to them. That's so rude. Gentleness basically means you treating other people very gently, not playing so roughly. Sometimes when my boys are playing really roughly, I ask them boys. What fruit of the spirit do you think you need right now? And they will say, gentleness or love, right? Because gentleness doesn't hit people or be angry at them or throw things at them or bonk their head. Gentleness is gentle and calm and treats people with gentleness. Got it, friends? Yes! Okay, now the last fruit of the spirit is what's the last fruit of the spirit friends friends at home what is the last fruit of the spirit okay let's sing it together love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control <laughs> Self-control. What does it mean to be self-control? Mm -hmm. One of our friends wants to answer. Mm -hmm. Self-control is the last fruit of the spirit. It is the ability to control your actions, thoughts, and emotions. God expects us to have self-control everywhere. With self-control, I will think before I act. I will control my temper. I will sit still and be quiet. I will respect people and take care of their belongings. Thank you. Self-control is when you're controlling your emotions. You want to hit somebody and they're being mean to you. you and you, what, you have to control your emotions. And so, like, here's an example. You're done. <laughs> Then you want to hit them so bad, but then you control your anger, and then you just walk away. Okay, friends at home, self-control means controlling yourself so you don't do the things that you sometimes actually really, really want to do. But you remember that you have the fruit of the spirit self-control inside you. And so you'll be patient and you will wait. Right, friends? For example, you go to the store with mommy and daddy and you're really hungry. And you're like, mommy, I'm really hungry. I need to eat now. But mommy says, go to the store. Be patient. Let's get home and you will have something to eat. So at that point, you have to remember that you have the fruit of the spirit self-control in your heart. Yeah. So you have to control yourself. Don't be angry and screaming. But control yourself. Be patient and wait till you get home and then you can eat. That is the last fruit of the spirit. The ability to control our emotions, control our feelings, our actions, our thoughts, right? Control ourselves. Can we all give all our friends a big round of applause? Woo! Good job, friends. 
Thank you everyone. Thank you for all the parents who help their children to put this together. We are so grateful to all of you. Thank you for letting us know what the fruit of the spirit really means to you. Those were really beautiful and we hope you will cherish this in your heart all the days of your life. As you grow older and older and older, but you will always have these fruits of the spirit in your heart. Bubble up kids, what a life! All too soon, friends, we are coming to the end of this grand finale. <laughs> Good job. We are coming to the end of this grand finale of our fruits of the spirit show. But before we go, we have a few friends who watch us every single Saturday and almost every day that we really want to say hi to and thank you for always joining us on Bubble Up Kids Show. We want to say hi to Aaron Josh, Aman, and Nana Pacey all the way in Ghana. Friends, let's say hi to AJ, Aman, and Nana K. <laughs> hi, guys! <laughs> Let's say hi to Heidi and Prince Junior in Geneva, Switzerland. <laughs> hi guys, thank you for always watching Bubble Up Kids. We're gonna say hi again to Janelle, Jayla and Terence Junior in Ghana, West Africa. Let's say hi to Janelle, to Jayla and to Terence Junior. Hi friends. <laughs> and our very last Hellos go to Aubrey, Riley, and Emery right here in Dallas, Texas. And they watch us all the time too. So let's say hi to Aubrey, Riley, and Emery right here in Dallas, Texas. Hi, hi girls! <laughs> and if you want us to say hi to you, it's really easy. Just tell your parents to send us your name and where you're watching from to Bubble Up Kids Show gmail.com also we'll be celebrating march birthday soon so if you have a birthday coming up in march make sure you tell your parents to send your name and where you're watching from and your birthday to bubbleupkids at gmail.com now you know there's one thing we always always do before we go we never go before doing it who knows what that is uh-huh <laughs> praying friends so today we are going to say a very special prayer because we've had the grand <laughs> we've had the grand finale of the fruit of the spirit show we really want to pray that God would fill us with all the fruit of the spirit let's close our eyes friends friends at home stand up close your eyes friends here in Kalusa, let's keep quiet let's close our eyes and let's pray dear heavenly father we just want to say thank you thank you lord for such a wonderful exciting show today thank you for speaking to us and letting us know about the fruits of the spirit about how the holy spirit lives inside of us and about how we can always show love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control in every area of our lives we ask that you help us lord it looks like a lot of fruits to show but we know that we can do all things through christ who strengthens us in jesus name so lord strengthen us to be able to act out all the fruits of the spirit in jesus mighty name we pray for our parents we ask that you bless all our parents all over the world in jesus name we ask that you bless our countries where we live let there be peace let there be prosperity and most importantly let a lot of people know about jesus in jesus name we pray for bubble up kids show that you continue to bless the show and help the show to bless many children all over the world in jesus mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving and, and everyone says amen. amen thank you so much friends for joining us now let's say a good a big goodbye so
subscribe to Bubble Up Kids YouTube channel and don't miss any episodes. Let's go tell everyone about Bubble Up Kids. Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble Up Kids, word alive!